Hello and welcome to my tutorial series on how to model low poly vegetables in Blender. This is part 10 and today we're going to model lettuce. This is the finished model and as always I designed this so we can follow along very easily. First of all let us set up our reference background image by pressing shift A, go to image then background. And now we know what we have to do. Now we can add a plane to our scene. And by pressing the tab key on our keyboard, we can enter the edit mode and select these two vertices here and scale them down in the x-axis by pressing S for scale and then X. On the right side, under add modifier, add a subdivision surface modifier and set the view to three. Apply this modifier and scale your plane up in the x-axis by pressing S and then X. Now enabling the proportional editing tool and selecting this bottom vertex here, you can just grab it with G in the z-axis with the Z to get this shape right here. Give it even more of a round shape. You can select some of the inner vertex vertices here and grab them in the z-axis too. When you are happy with your geometry, just right click on your object and choose shade smooth. And by grabbing your object, you can place it at the 3D cursor. Now by right clicking on the object, you can select set origin, origin to 3D cursor. And as you can see, we can now rotate our mesh around the 3D cursor. Now to give it some randomness, we can add displace modifier. And by pl clicking plus new, we can add a new texture. And in the texture tab, we can choose our texture. Choose magic and give it some depth. And back in the modifier tab, we can set the strength to a lower value. until we are happy with what we are seeing. Now by pressing Shift D to duplicate your mesh, then clicking R to rotate and Z to rotate in the Z axis, we can create these duplicates of our object. Now by clicking on one object and then shift left clicking on another object we can select multiple and by clicking R to rotate and Z to rotate in Z axis we can now place these leaves. Scale them down a bit and make sure that you don't have overlapping geometry like here on the right hand side and repeat these steps a few times. Shift D to duplicate, R to rotate, Z to rotate in the Z axis, then scale
if there is a little bit of overlapping geometry, as you can see here, here in the middle, this is no problem at all because we won't see that in the final render. And the last one. For this, of course, you can choose to duplicate four leaves or five. It's up to your taste. So we don't get any problems with shading later. We have to apply our transforms. So press Ctrl A and all transforms. Now we can head over to the shading tab and create a new material by pressing the plus new. And we can add a texture coordinate node and a mapping node, as well as a separate X, Y, and Z node. And we will combine them with a the color ramp We get our Z output here and plug it into the base color of our shader. So now we can tweak the colors via the color ramp here. I choose a dark green for the bottom and a lighter one for the top. If you want to, you can add colors in between by pressing the plus sign on the color ramp. Now we want the rest of our model to have the same material. So just select all of the objects and press Command and L to link the materials. And I think this lattice lacks some volume, so I decided to add an icosphere by pressing Shift A, then Mesh, then icosphere, and scaled it down in the Z axis by pressing S for scale and Z for scaling in Z axis, and scaled it down generally by pressing S. We'll give it the same materials as the leaves. And now we can add some detail to our lattice. Therefore, add a bump map by pressing Shift A, then type in bump, select it, plug it into the normal of your shader, and add a noise texture as well, which you can plug into the height of your bump map. So this is a bit too harsh, so you can always set the strength to a lower value. And by changing the scale and detail of your noise texture, you can manipulate the way your bump will be displayed on your model. Now add another color ramp and take this noise texture into the factor input of it and connect your color ramp to the roughness input of your shader. So we have some variation in the reflectiveness of the surface of the leaves. So for now all the objects share the same material. As you can see right next to the material's name we have a little 16. And if you click on that, you will tell Blender that this selected object will use the material, but you can make some modifications. 
and these modifications will not be displayed on the other objects. So you're making a single user material by clicking on the number. And I'm doing that because I want a slight variation in the color ramp and I want a darker tone for the volume element of this lattice. This is also useful if you want to model some flowers and you're making one material for it with all the details and then by clicking on the number and making it into a single user material you can just change the color for it. For a final touch you can select one of the leaves and select these top vertices here and by pressing Shift and W you can bend these vertices to give it a more organic look. Just repeat this on a few of those leaves and the lattice is finished. If you tried this and want me to show your work in a future video, just send it to me via Twitter or Instagram and tell me the way you want to be displayed in the video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification button to keep yourself updated on new videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching and have fun creating!